Hello, hello, happy Sunday everyone. If you are tuning in for the first time, my name is Kim Dent and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been a demonstrator for 21 years. I have a team of 42 lovely women who um, are on my team. Um, I have girls that um, are on my team that do it just for the discount. And then I also have some girls on my team who do it um, to support their stamping habit. So if you are interested in finding more, um, uh, finding, finding about more, oh my goodness, I'm tongue tied early. If you want more information from me about joining my team, uh, please contact me. Now is the perfect time to join because we have um, a big promotion going on called Celebration. And during Celebration, there is a perk of uh, joining. You always get um, our kit for $99. You get to choose $125 worth of product. That kit ships to you absolutely free. Um, but during celebration this year, um, from now till the end of August, there's a beautiful organizer that um, they will send you absolutely free. So hello, hello. Oh, thank you, Allison. How is everyone? We've got just a few people joining. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Well, while I'm waiting for people to hop on, I'm going to... Um, uh, sync my laptop. Allison, you looked beautiful this morning as well in that pretty fuchsia pink. Okay, hold on just a second. Who else? I can't see. Oh, I can't see comments there. Kathy. Hi, Kathy. There, we've got a couple joining. Yay. I was worried sometimes. It's been a long time. And back in the day when uh, I started doing Facebook Lives, every week there was a problem hi mary hi jan oh there i see my friends i can see the comments now yay all right well i have two easy cards nothing fancy um this week but you know sometimes it uh, is fun just to get in and do just a basic card with a basic layout um, no fancy fold this week um, but i hope you like what you see so Hold on, I'm gonna set my laptop over to the side. Thanks for tuning everyone, tuning in everyone. Oh my goodness, if I can't talk, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to flip my camera around, so hold on just a second. Oh, I think I saw Valerie in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think it's gonna be one of the one of those crazy nights, girls. Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Um this is just my little reminder to let all of you know that celebration is going on till August 31st. Um, as far as I know, everything in the catalog is still available except for those very pretty um, soft sea foam and pool party note cards and envelopes. They're uh, sold out. I haven't, um, I've checked the website and as far as I know, um, everything else is still available, but they have told us it's while supplies last. So please don't wait if you love something or you're waiting don't don't wait because if you're going to be sad that it's gone um, order it soon order it soon okay and then um, if you'd like to place an order this is my website kimdent.stampinup.net you can go there to place your online orders that can be shipped directly to your front door if your order is hundred and fifty dollars or more don't use this code because I want you to receive the um, the Stampin' Rewards. If it's under $150, then please use this code CMR9KD74, and that helps me out. So I would greatly appreciate that. I hope you all, um, I hope you all have been stamping. I know today was a great day to stamp this whole weekend because it's been so stinking hot out there. Oh my goodness crazy crazy weather 
My mother-in-law yesterday said, I don't remember there ever being a summer that's this hot, which I, I'm sure there has been. But, man, when it gets up in, you know, the hundreds and the heat index, whoo, that is time to stay inside. Kathy from um, North Dakota, do you guys have hot weather like this, or is it always at least, or is it always cooler than that? In my head, I'm thinking it's cooler than that. Let Pop on in. So let me know what you guys have been doing this weekend. I would love to know. Start commenting, and then I'll get my um, first card set up. Sorry for the shadows. I've got, I just ordered, and they were just delivered on my doorstep. Um, I've got some new lights, so hopefully that will help when I'm doing my Facebook Lives. Oh, it's hot there too. Oh, Brenda, you know what? I agree with you. I have seen after I badmouth that crazy pomegranate set that you can get if you have a $300 order, the one that we're talking about, if you're not familiar, it's um, during celebration. If you collect orders that are $300 or more, their Stampin' Up! is going to send you the perfect pomegranate stamp set absolutely free. And at my classes last month, no, this month, sorry, I was kind of like saying, where, why, where, <laughs> what was Stampin' Up! thinking? But there, this is a good example. There's one done with what the one that Brenda is talking about with the florals. So now I kind of feel bad. And I've got one of my own, um, and so um, maybe I can create some some pretty cards. But yeah, the pomegranate stamp set, I, I talked about this. It's kind of um, different to me that they would choose pomegranates. But then um, I had some friends, Mary Teal was one of them, in the Bible, the pomegranate, oh my goodness, I remember she said it's referenced in the Song of Solomon. Um, so it's a very pretty, pr very pretty fruit, but, um, I just thought it was an unusual choice, but I agree with you, Brenda. I have seen now some very pretty cards done with the florals that are in this set. So shame on me. <laughs> oh, Valerie, you look at you go girl. And Allison cleaning and Jill's been stamping. That makes me happy. <laughs> all right oh okay here we go so this is the first card and it is done I I'm uh I love um florals and I love word set, stamp sets you all have heard me talk about that um but I'm kind of partial also to leaves even though sometimes some someone can you know, say, well, they all look the same. No, they don't. And every time Stampin' Up! comes out with one, I have to have it. So the st name of the stamp set, this is in the July through December mini catalog. It's called Soft Seedlings. And you can see there's the main stamp that we're going to use. It's six stamps. The font is delightful. This is the stamp we're going to use tonight, Thinking of You. Um, and then so grateful for you and hello. I've decided I've got this goal. I'm going to use more. I'm going to make more cards with thinking of you on it. I've just made that. I'm like determined that I need to be sending out more cards. And if you put thinking of you on your cards, you can use that for just about anything. So we're going to use thinking of you tonight. I always say this too, that leaves also make lovely masculine cards. Hi, Chrissy. Oh, good job, Brenda. I have pa I have paper pumpkin upstairs too that needs to be worked on. Oh my goodness! And girls, if I wish I had the um, I wish I had the flyer. It's upstairs. Um, there's a beautiful, beautiful um, paper pumpkin kit coming in August, and it is sunflowers. If you've heard me talk about Paper Pumpkin before, you know that I um, I have my own subscription, or Mr. Dent does, I should say. Um, and 
but I'm always excited. I love to share them. They're quick and easy cards. Everything that you need uh, for to make to make cards. Um, usually it's cards. Sometimes it's dimensional items, but for the most part lately it's been cards. Um, everything is included in this delightful little box that comes straight to your mailbox every month. But oh my goodness, I am waiting on pins and needles to get the August one because it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It comes with two ink spots in August, um, some gold foil, and then sunflowers. So check it out. I'm sure I posted in our Facebook group um, what uh, I, uh, I'm thinking that I posted maybe one day last week, Wednesday maybe, if you want to go back in the group and see um, uh, what it looks like. I'll also be talking about it because I just think you all should take advantage of it. Okay, I can tell um, it looks like my feed is kind of blurry. Does it look that way to all of you right now? Oh, oh my goodness. Comment below if you uh, are having trouble with the feed. Or does it look normal? <laughs> and maybe it's just on my end. I hope that it's just on my end. All right, here's the kit. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna use um, Cherry Cobbler as our card base. Haven't used this. Usually I pull this out at, um, oh good, thank you, thanks Jan. Yay, Peggy. Okay, Cherry Cobbler, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one fourth. And this is something that, <laughs> I have to laugh about. Look, I don't do many cards that open this way. I don't know what we call it, but most of my cards open this way. <laughs> and I, I had someone at my stamp classes, they were like, I really don't like cards that open that way. So I'm gonna try to do more of a variety and open my cards this way, which is like the traditional way for cards to open. So this is Cherry Cobbler. I normally don't pull it out till um, Christmas, but I decided it looks so pretty with this uh, leaf stamp set. We're gonna need a piece of Cajun Craze, two by five and one fourth. We need, this is our inside, three and three fourths by five. I'm gonna move this on up. You need a piece of copper foil, oh, lovely, two and three fourths by four and one eighth. Oh, good. Thank you, Valerie. Um, DSP, this is uh, one and three fourths by five, and I'll tell you in a second where this is from. This is your piece that you, I use the decal, uh, frame, decal dies, very vanilla, three and one fourth by four and a half. Oh, thank you. Um, you're gonna need a scrap. This is for the piece that I embossed on. So I just left this in here. I didn't even measure it. A scrap of very vanilla. And let's see, I'm gonna throw this in, but you'll see me use it. Brush metallic adhesive back dots. Just got these and they are oh so lovely. Gold, copper, and brass in two different sizes. We're gonna use those. All right, the DSP that we're using, this is from the, uh, did I say July through December mini catalog, and it is called Rustic Harvest. It's 12 by 12. And I'm gonna show you. this is fun. Look at, here's six by six, but it comes 12 by 12. There's that. Very cool, huh? I love this one. I think those are zinnias. Look at this one. That's, I think, crushed curry. Look at these pretty pumpkins. And then there's the piece that we're using. Now I'm gonna flip. I, I love it when I can like go to my stat. I was like, oh, I, I think I'd really like a piece of DSP, and, but I don't think I have any in Cajun Craze. And I just remembered that I had just uh, received the Rustic Harvest, because I also have the Hello Harvest stamp set and dies. So I'm like, oh, Cajun Craze DSP. Okay, here's the flip side. 
and you could color these in with your blends. This is black and white. There's some lovely leaves. Look at this side. Stripes. You could also color this. I need to do that. Show that to you on a Facebook Live. Oh, thank you, Peggy. I need to uh <laughs> I need to do more cards like this. I'm sorry. Here's this one. I love this one. This um I this is crazy and I just pulled this from the back of my brain. This reminds me of Thomas Hart Benton. Um the artist. Mom could probably tell you if she could jump on. Mom, are you watching? Tell us about Thomas Hart Benton. This reminds me of his artwork. Um, usually he does murals, I believe, but this style just reminds me a lot of him. And then on the flip side, this is very simple. And once again, Stampin' Up! is so smart that, um, you know, when you get through using the Rustic Harvest, the pumpkin, and the traditional fall colors, it's still good because, look, the stripes... And now this little ticking like that. Here's some more. And then this one you could use all year round. But look on the flip side. Do you love it? I do. I do, I do. So you can see they're all, it's not a, a bleach white, but it is, it's kind of like a little off white to me. But very pretty colors. So this is the piece we're using tonight. Um, I also want to let you know that, let's see, here's my deckled rectangle dies. And the die that I'm using is this one. So it is the one, two, three, fourth one in. And I use that to cut out the very vanilla. Which I don't see. Oh my goodness, where is it? <laughs> oh, and of course my, oh my goodness, where could it be? All right. This is what happens when you're <laughs> working at the last minute. The other product, let's see if it turns up. The other product that I'm using is on page 49. This is, I'm so excited. This is called the Embossing Editions Toolkit. And this dish, I guess we can call it. What are we calling it? Um, it is called, I don't know what they're calling it. Crafting embossing buddy. Well, this comes with this dish. We used to have one large and small way back in the day, like I'm thinking at least 15 years ago. The embossing buddy is back and a brush and some tweezers. Thank you, mom. Yes, an artist from back in the day. He did mostly murals from early times, mostly from our state. Thank you. Does it say on there, Trey, and I'm just not seeing it? Well, all right. I am... <laughs> Where is that? I cut... Oh, look how pretty. Look at this, Valerie. Look, I stamped on the inside. Well, let me see if I can pull up my, my, um, I can. Hold on one second, girls. Talk amongst yourself, take a picture of this, and I'm going to pull up my machine and cut my piece out, because I just really think that little deckling is so awesome. Whoa. I'm sure if I, I can pull it aside. Right. That's a good, yeah. Oh no, here, I'm just going to do it right here. Off to the side, girl. Sorry. And I know they're in there. I probably put them in the wrong container. <laughs> Today was one of those days where, you know, sometimes I come down, I eat lunch, and I come down and uh, start right to it. Today I was kind of procrastinating. So there's the piece that we're going to stamp the, the leaf on. The leaf, yeah, the leaf and the seedlings. And then once I get down here, I don't want to leave. All right, the, the um, ink that we're using, I'm going to use Cajun Craze. 
And here's my stamp. Oh, I have got something else to share with you too. Ah, oh, don't let me forget. A new, a new tip. Okay, there's Cajun Craze. I'm gonna ink up my Cajun Craze, or ink up my uh, leaf. This is all also a distinctive stamp. So it's gonna show um, depth and dimension, which is so cool. I realize I needed to grab one more thing. <laughs> okay, I decided in my sample that this was down a little lower than I would have liked it. So I'm gonna pop it up just a little bit. Oh, and I forgot this part. Oh gosh, here we go. I added a little bit of cherry cobbler, just like I've been doing the past couple weeks, um, just on the tips, just to pull in some more color to the beautiful fall leaves. So you can ink up your stamps. Last week, I think in the week before, I did um, where I just, the only thing that I did was I colored on the stamps with the, the brush tip uh, end of the marker. This time we're inking up the entire thing, entire stamp, and then adding some color to it. So that's Cherry Cobbler. And that's why I chose to use Cherry Cobbler on the for the card base. Oh, yay, Valerie. Oh. Okay, Chrissy. Tell your mama hi for me. There we go. So pretty. The other thing, let's see if I can reach it. I've got to reach all the way back here. I did, well, I'm just going to grab crumb cake. I filled in. I wasn't crazy about how this was solid. And then the stem, I guess. So I just pulled in, I really, I think I used soft suede. I could have used my Stampin' Blends too, but um, on my sample, I used soft suede. This one is crumb cake just because it was right behind me. And that's pretty. So much detail. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna pull in, let's see if I can do the brush tip a little bit. Make that a little darker. All right, so you can tell with that technique, you can tell they're, they're a little different. This one is a little bit darker than this one, but that's okay, because leaves come in all different colors. So that was crumb cake that I filled in the stem with. Now I'm gonna um, take my copper foil this is so pretty and I only had a little bit left and I'm sure it is, I'm sure when in the camera, yeah, there I picked it up. You can see the copper. I love this, I need to get some more. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this directly down. Mm. There we go and then look how easy. I'm going to take my card base and this Rustic Harvest DSP is going to go right there. I use this as my go-to layout, girls. I almost did a Christmas card today, but then I thought, no, I had this soft ceiling stamp set right next to me. Um, and so I thought, nope, do the fall one first. Okay, now I'm going to take uh, my dimensionals. One in the middle and one in each corner. That's just how I do it. Well, Valerie, tell us what you're getting in your order. I'm always curious. Any, did you order Christmas stamps or fall? Okay, looks pretty good so far. I'll put these on last, I think. Now I'm gonna show you the um,
bossing tray. So here's my scrap. I'm going to set this to the side. Um, so excited. I'm so excited to be getting this. I got a brand new Versamark pad. <laughs> oh, thank you. Look. <laughs> I have some well-loved Versamark, so I just decided to treat myself to a brand new one. I don't know why. That makes me happy. And this makes me happy. Oh my goodness. For how long, girls, have we been saying, you know, um, or I have been saying, I don't know why they quit selling <laughs> I guess they were getting ready for this super duper deal. So I was sending people like to Amazon, but now you're going to want the tray, the brush, the tweezers, and this. So with the embossing body, if you're watching for the first time, what this does is help prevent static um, for those little bitty, the little bitty bits of powder to um, not grab on where, where we don't want it to go. Love this font, thinking of you. So I'm inking it up with Versamark. If you're new to my channel, Versamark is uh, what we use. It's like the glue that holds the embossing powder down. You can barely see it on there, which is good. Now I'm gonna close this up. And copper is the embossing powder you, that you, um, We I think you can get what is it? Is it co gold, copper, and silver? There's my little brush. There's my tweezers. And the fun part about this, there you can see where this little pile right there is where I, um, from earlier today, all I have to do is take this and pour it over what I want to emboss. Close this up. And then shake it off. Now I'm going to set this to the side. Our embossing powders are in the back of our annual catalog. Oh, and I'm not going to hold it with my fingernails and and possibly ruin my, my lovely water lily fingernails that I just had done. I'm going to hold it with our new tweezers. Okay, this is our heat tool. I'm sorry, kind of is kind of an icky noise, but bear with me for just a second. So you want it to get uh, heated up, it's got to get hot, and then what it's going to do, it's going to melt the powder. And the trick with embossing, there you can see, it's melting, it's melting. <laughs> the trick to doing this is not to keep it on there too long. There, I'm done. Every, and it's always nice to have a well-lit area, too, also, um, because what would happen if I would keep the heat tool on there and keep it just melts all into the cardstock. So, got that done. Um, this would be, if there was any excess powder, I could take it and flick it off like this, if the embossing buddy didn't do its job completely. So, isn't that fun? Oh, and then one more thing, which I'm not going to do on camera. There's, um, you would take this off and then open this up and then pour this back into the container. So I'm excited. I'm going to do that. I'm going to set this off to the side and do it after we're done because I don't want to take up too much time. But isn't that fun? Yay. Glad to have this back, the embossing buddy back. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my paper snips. And this is something I've kind of been, um, oh, nervous about doing, but I think I've only done it, I think, one other time on camera. This is very popular right now. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut Thinking of You out. I'm just gonna follow along. And, I, and you, as you can see, I'm turning the um, paper more than I'm turning my scissors. This is so popular right now and I was nervous, but I've just decided, go for it. It's not meant to be perfect. Do any of you do this? It's very, very in right now. 
We also have, which I can't think of, we have a new, I have it actually, and I need to do it. There's a new set of words and dies that kind of um, replicate exactly what I'm doing right now. They match with the words that are in the set, which right now I can't think of it off the tip of my tongue, but I'll be using it. But this is just a way to, instead of putting like a big piece of very vanilla on top, this is just a nice way to add a little bit of color and the words with a little frame around it, a skinny little frame, which I think is the purpose. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get in there a little bit. See how easy. Like the screw on cap for embossing putty. Mine is a yes. You're right, Mary. The old you're right. The my original ones, they had like a rubber um a rubber push, that a rubber rubber plug that you had to um insert into. So yeah, the screw can screw cap is a nice improvement. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is bring in my mini dimensionals. Isn't that copper embossing pretty? And these mini dimensionals are perfect for doing this technique. Let's see how many I can get on there. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to bring this back in. Oh, thank you, Miss Brenda. Charming sentiments. And I did not realize that was Lisa Curtio's. Oh, it's a good one, too, especially if you love words. All right. I'm going to place, I think I'm going to go like this. Even it out. There we go. Ta-da. And then the finish, the finish, finishing of the card, we're going to bring in the copper adhesive back dots. Oh, where you go? Oop. <laughs> and I'm going to use three. My goodness. There we go. Aren't these pretty? All three colors are very pretty, but I'm partial, I think, to the copper. I'm going to attack this one like this. Let's tuck this one right there. And then you can see on my um, sample, my original one, isn't that beautiful? I love it, how real it looks. So that is our first card. I hope you like that. And it's so easy to do little bit of DSP, a little bit of embossing. You'll see me. I, I like to do uh, more embossing with Christmas cards. That's when I really pull out the pull out the big gun, big deep tool and use it all the time. Oh, I know. I know what I was going to do earlier, too. Let's see if I can still. No, nope, I'm going to do it on this one. I remember I said to you girls, I was like, I have a tip that I want to show you. So I um, was watching um, Instagram, <laughs> that's what I was messing around with instead of um, coming down here and making my cards for all of you. And I watched a demonstrator and she had a different way of um, placing her stamps or putting the stickers on her stamps. And I thought while I was down here and I had this new stamp set, I thought, I'm going to try it. Um, and so I'm going to show you, oh my goodness, what a time saver. And I wish I would have remembered, this is a tip also, if you have a fingernail, don't ever like rip this directly off. Try to get your fingernail underneath and lift it gently. That's just a tip like right there. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side. So usually when I mount my my uh, stickers onto my stamps, my clean stamps. I take the, uh, I leave it in the rubber base that they come in and I take my sticker off of my sticker sheet and I usually pull off half of it 
like that. Hi, Patty. Thanks for joining. And then I take my sticker and it's just a visual. That's why I leave it in there. Um, and then I pull off. So I usually, I always do half because sometimes, especially with larger stamps, they have a tendency to roll back on one another, which you can unroll them. But um, this demonstrator had this idea and oh my goodness, I think it's gonna be my, my new go-to of how I mount my stickers. So she takes the stamp out of the, the red base, the rubber base, pulls off the backing like that. And then she takes, which one is this? This is so grateful. So she takes the sticker and pulls off the backing of the sticker. Then what she does, she takes the sticker, now it's backwards, do you all see that? And she sticks it on her acrylic block. You with me so far? And then what she does, which I always talk, I mean, I guess it's my old eyes, but I always say it's always good to have good lighting. She flips her block around and then she, and I wish I could do this without sticking my head in. Um, she just sticks it like that. Oh my goodness. I did like a whole set. You'll see in the next one. I was amazed at how quick quick I did it so it's gonna be my new way I also think I can um, it's more accurate I think you know sometimes it's hard to tell with um, laying our stickers on top of the the rubber um, sometimes it gets off doing it like that I did a I did a whole set it was like BAM it was done so fast so that's my that's my big tip that I want to uh, share with all of you tonight and I can't think and I wish I'm gonna have to go back and look at her name and give her credit so try that out and see what you think let me know what you think about an, the new and improved way of mounting your stickers to your your cling stickers to your stamps all right here's our next card Oh, oh, thank you, Gail. Thanks, Kathy. Oh, Jill. Peggy, are you on Instagram? It, or maybe you follow her. Here's my, my next card. And as much as I love leaf, leaf stamps, I love florals the best. You probably know that about me. Um, I was looking for a different type of layout for um, to show you tonight because I knew I wasn't going to do a fancy fold. And can you see it? So um, here it is. I've never done this before. And I think I'm going to be using it a lot, especially with my extra little pieces of DSP. So the um, name of the stamp set is, and I love it, it's called True Beauty. Ah. And um, you can see there's all sorts of little flowers in here. I know this is a rose. I'm not sure what this is, but I love it. It's a distinctive stamp set. Um, just because, here for you always, with love and you're a true friend, which I used on the front of this. Oh, thanks, Peggy. It was Brandy. That's very, yeah, I'm not surprised. She's such a She's such a very talented demonstrator. So True Beauty also has a set of dies called Organic Beauty Dies. And oh, this is so cool. Look at this. So there are the dies that match with the, the images along with some bonus um, dies. Look at this one. Oh, look at that, girls. We are going to have some fun. Is that amazing? So that'll make a beautiful background, especially I'm thinking like with the foils. I've seen it done with um, regular cardstock, but I think, oh my goodness, with the foils, so beautiful. So Organic Beauty Dyes coordinates with True Beauty Stamp Set. I'm gonna put that up. And I could have done that, but I was just messing around. Now, probably next time I do it will be, oh, I'm going to show you the DSP also. 
so beautiful. Set this to the side. Watch this, girls. So there's the piece that I used to cut out the squares. There's another. This is Blush Bride. This one looks like Parakeet Party. This is Mossy Meadow. Uh, Balmy Blue. Look at the little sweet little tulips in there. And then look at this. And I'm not sure what the color this is. Uh, Mary, it's a... It, the colors I know that said were that it was included, maybe it's polished pink or Mary, a light version of Mary Merlot. Here's the flip side. Ah, oh, this is where those dyes, those organic beauty dyes, you can cut out these images. Love that Stampin' Up does that. You can make a card. Look, get yourself some of this. You don't even have to do any stamping, or maybe you could, you know, use this as your card base and put happy birthday or thinking of you up in the corner. Love those quick and easy cards. This one I've seen, oh my goodness, just cut out and mounted on dimensionals. This is a beautiful piece. This is probably my favorite piece. Then look how pretty. There's another one. And then this one love it i hope you do too okay the card kit is mary merlot and again for all you girls who i have to be better at doing that mary merlot five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and one fourth this is a piece of that dsp two inches by seven inches I'm using a piece of Mossy Meadow, four inches by five and one fourth. And then this piece, Mary Merlot, one and three fourths by five. This is my inside piece, basic white, three and three fourths by five. Look at that, it's popping up. I'm gonna have to put it down a block on there. <laughs> basic white, that's the inside. And then, gold foil girls two and three fourths by four and one fourth you can tell what i ordered on the last order <laughs> basic white two and a half by four this is what we're going to stamp on okay take a picture of that and then i will show you the dies that i used they're brand new stylish shapes but i've used them a lot and the one that I used was this square. So it's got like stitching on it. And let's see how many dies are in here, 15. You get the squares, the circles, and then the banners. You can tell how much I love them because I use them all the time. But this is the first time I've done this, this uh, layout. So I've already cut out my um, squares. Oh, and then I've, so I did three of them. And the other thing that I used, the other product that I used was the, ah, oh, oh my goodness, my dies just fell out. <laughs> I'll get it. It's on right on the other side. And I don't, thankfully, don't need it. Painted texture. This is what I used for the Mossy Meadow. The first, um, prototype that I did I guess you could say I didn't emboss this and I just thought it needed something so this is a 3d embossing folder it's in the annual catalog to use our 3d embossing folders you need base plate one 3d embossing folder and then specialty plate that's that dark gray one number four all right let's get this out of the way and I'm going to bring in the colors the inks that I used there's Blushing Bride, Mary Merlot, and Mossy Meadow. Love these colors together. Let's gather all this up and we'll get started. I think the first thing I'm going to do, just because I don't want it flying away, um, this is on the Mary Merlot piece. I'm going to show you how I mounted my... Um, squares that were cut out. I did one on the top, nice even border, and then I did one on the bottom. 
same amount. And then I was able to get my center one evenly spaced. Okay, and then this piece gets mounted onto uh, the mossy meadow. And then this piece gets mounted onto the card base, Mary Merlot. I thought this card would make a very pretty, I mean, all sorts of different occasions you could use it for. Um, birthday, wedding, sympathy. So, um, yeah, this is a great stamp set and so versatile. The next thing I'm going to bring in is my Stamparatus. I'm going to set the card base to the side. So it's a large stamp. Both of them are, are large, but especially the stem with the leaves. And it just, I think I'm going to pull this one out. I'm going to show you. I used, uh, I put the card, basic white card stock right here. And then put my magnet, my strong magnet, magnet down right there. And then, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I took first plate. Now, I like to always stick a stamp set underneath um, the plate when I'm inking it up. Just feels like it gives, I don't know, it gets e done evenly. So I'm going to ink it up like this. Now this is a distinctive stamp, so you'll, I'm going to sh share something with you. Uh, when I stamp this, let's see how it turns out this time. When I stamp this, you'll, you'll see when it comes out. Oh, and I don't have my little hockey puck, hockey, air hockey thing. <laughs> See how light it is in the center? I'm going to do it again, and that's the beauty of having a Stamparatus. I just wanted it. It is a distinctive stamp. Now watch that bottom get really dark, but that's okay. This is the way it's meant to look. I just... Ugh, it got really dark. Um, that is the way it is meant to be. So what I did, I came in with my Wink of Stella and I just thought this softened it up a little bit. Now remember I've showed you this is um, can be like a paintbrush. I just, I don't know, the tech, usually I'm really crazy about, you know, distinctive stamps. There's something about this one though, I thought this needs to be softened up a little bit. So I'm bringing in, I'm just gonna pull in a little bit of that color into those white areas. And also make it sparkle. So I liked it better. All right, there's that. Now I'm gonna pull this plate off and bring in the stems, the stem and the leaves. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I didn't think about this when I was doing it. Ah, I don't, I can't put my stamp set under there. That's okay. Right. There we I got a step. I'll tell you after I do after I get this down. Ta-da! Okay, the step that I forgot was I don't I forgot. I was so proud of myself for adding it. I brought in um, my blending brush. Let's see if I can grab it. See what happens. 
and I added um, Blushing Bride in the background just to so that was another thing I did. I thought it needed to be softened up a little bit. Now I'm kind of nervous about doing it though. Let's see what happens. Now remember when you use a blending brush you never want to go directly onto the image and I did this first so that that's what I'm saying I forgot something so you would never want to go directly onto this start off to the side and then where should I start let's see uh, it was a lot easier when I did it the first time oh no it's it's bleeding the well and that's different too <laughs> it's bleeding the mossy meadow oh, I should have let it go oh well well, we'll have a little bit of shadow. It'll just be Mossy Meadow instead of instead of Blushing Bride. Uh, can you see it on there? Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in You Are a True Friend. And I used uh, Mary Merlot. Had a little moment there. And then on my, I just want to show you this, on the basic white piece on the inside, I took another one of the stamps and um, thought I just needed a little something in here in the corner. I'm trying to be better about stamping on the insides of my cards for you when I'm doing the video. Do you like that? And then for the words, I used a very pretty word. This is a new stamp set. I used it last week. Very best occasions. It's 12 stamps, all different occasions. The one I'm going to use tonight, which I thought was so pretty. Um, so on the outside, it says, you are a true friend, and then endlessly grateful. So isn't that pretty? And I'm going to use Mary Merlot with that. There's happy birthday, but I just thought endlessly grateful went really nicely. And Mary Merlot against um, the white, and then to have the mossy meadow down there in the corner. I just thought it pulled it all together. And the font is very cool. <laughs> all about the font. All right. Stamping, I believe, is done. We're going to bring back um, the card base. And this is going to go on our inside. Whoops, don't do it upside down. Look how pretty. And then for our outside, we're going to take that stamped image and it's going to be mounted on the gold foil. And then we've got the dimensionals, of course. Oops. And then we are done. Now it would also be very pretty, which I've been trying to be better about this too. Take our um, envelopes and then you could stamp um, like a rose in the corner of the envelope um, because it's always fun to get right out of the mailbox and to see one of your friends has sent you a beautiful hand stamped card. So there we go ladies. Tell me which one you like the best. I think it's okay that it's turned like a little bit of mossy meadow on there. Hold on, I'm going to flip this around. <laughs> Thank you for joining me this week, everyone. Um, I, if you have any questions about celebration, um, just give me a call or send me a text or comment below. Um, I appreciate all of you tuning in tonight. And... Have a wonderful week. Stay cool. God's blessings. Bye-bye.